Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Star Treaty Command World War One, and we're back. So the only thing that we really need to do was uh, deal with the Serbia front. Let's go after Belgrade and just uh, see if we can make it fall here. Pretty good. Down to three. And there we go. So, these guys haven't attacked yet. I don't expect them to be able to entrench. No, they haven't. Okay, well, at least we got there, so that, that works. Mm. Reinforce, at least use. Pretty cheap, so it's not too bad. I kind of need to get these guys out. Mm. So now you can switch. That's a bit weird, only after taking it. Rather have a 9 strength unit in there, though. Just like I'd rather have an 8 strength unit here, so... Yeah, that should work. Pretty low readiness and morale, but maybe we can uh, do something about that in the upcoming turns. All right. I guess that's it for them. Um, I still have 90 left. Let's try to do some repairs to the Navy. But I can't send them out yet. Because they're just not powerful enough. You guys are okay. Looking good least for now perfect then up here is there still something that I need to do I think there is I need to move some of these guys and mm, it's a bit dangerous yes move these once again, I'll, I'll have to take care of the HQs on the next turn. At any rate. Yeah, sure. Let's take a look at the Navy. Mm. We do have this new submarine, so let's get these guys in there too, so we can potentially repair them. Can't get in any of these other units. I'd like to keep my uh, my navy at full strength. There we go. That's maybe a bit too much. Let's, let's get them in, in there anyway. I think maybe that'll be okay. The thing is that... God, let's, let's attack here. Good. The more damage I do, the more of these units will go out and repair. So that's always better for me. If I can get these guys down to 7 and they don't repair, then that's going to be a boon to me, I think. Um, let's just get these guys out of the way and then attack here. We'll see what kind of effect that has. Um, can't repair any of those. I need to do a lot of repairs here still anyway. Alright, well, that's going to be it for now. These guys apparently haven't fully... Yeah, they're not in there yet, so... We'll have to see when... They'll join. Zoom in first. Uh, okay. Yeah. Von Speed defeats the Royal Navy at the Battle of Cornell. French morale falls due to the loss of Belfort. And Serbian morale falls due to the loss of Belgrade. Serbia moves the government to Nish. Fair enough. Bulgaria takes an increasing interest in events in Serbia. 
Ottoman Empire prepares for war. General Gallieni mobilizes the Paris Defense Forces. So more free units. So, okay. Entente raider and uh, raiders disrupt Norwegian convoys. Blockades. All over the place. But fear of German raiders upset straight from the British Empire. British and Japanese forces captured Tsingtao in China. Von Veto von Leto Forback defeats the British in German East Africa. A lot of things going on here. But I'd like to keep the French on the back footing. Ah, ANSAC set sail for Europe, so they get more free units. <laughs> like every turn. UK sends naval units to deal with Von Spee, so they also get free naval units, probably. Okay. Uh, just moving some guys back. Still trying to push to encircle most of these guys. They're moving out of Amiens. That's also odd. The AI moves in mysterious ways. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> so they're railing a union there, which is actually a pretty bad choice because it's a in a hex where the enemy is pretty easy to destroy. There are no entrenchments. They can't build entrenchments there. Well, you're not going to take Reims this way. With half-assed attacks like that. Ouch. Okay. Hmm. That's a lot of units, but they couldn't crack them. Which is good. And they keep their... They've been pretty static, these guys. Now, this is actually a bit of a problem. Because they'll be able to get to Breslau quickly if I don't actually destroy that unit. So, it's a pretty bad offensive for me. Might have to shift my units around. Again, the AI seems to be extremely aggressive. Which must mean that the odds are not yet all that much in my favor. Mm hmm. Yeah, even the French are getting these double stacks now, simply because they get so many free units. But it has to stop at some point. does show that there's probably not going to be a whole lot of fighting anymore yet. We're at the events, which means that everything else is done. Ottoman army mobilizes for war. Great. That opens up new possibilities, but also new weaknesses. Ottoman forces mobilize throughout the Middle East. Plenty of units. We'll have to take care of plenty of uh, stuff here. Ottoman Empire is in the central powers and at war with the Entente. Indian troops seize Basra. And several casualties. Typ typhus epidemic breaks out amongst Ottoman forces. That's not great. Even hitting the HQ. Yeah, blockades. 
They can't move their supplies through the Darnandale anymore. In Union of Democratic Control, form calling for diplomatic oversight of the UK foreign policy. The Battle of Cocos, the HMAS Sydney sinks the Emden. Sheikh Ul Islam proclaims a jihad against the Entente. Ottoman Finance Minister Mehmet Kavit Bey resigns in protest against the war. And that's it. For now. <laughs> that's a huge uh, list. Our agents in Morocco believe that the tribes of the Rif are ready to rise against the French. This could be an excellent opportunity to create trouble for the French in Africa, but the representatives of the tribes have requested arms, ammunition and money, and are likely unlikely to act without them. Would you like to spend 50 MPPs to equip the tribes? By sending weapons and money, there will be resistance to French rule in the area, hitting French income and possibly even diverting some troops on the Western Front. Yes. There is a British tanker called the uh, Glindrir that was interned at Danzig at the start of the war and could be converted into a seaplane carrier. The work will cost us 10 MPPs at 50 MPPs a turn for two turns and will be completed in December 1914. Would you like to authorize the conversion of this tanker into a seaplane carrier? The Glindrir was at Danzig when the war began and after being seized by the German authorities it was decided to convert it into a seaplane carrier. Carrying four aircraft, it took part in operations in the Baltic against the Russians, but it was badly damaged when it struck a mine on its way back to port. Sure. Thousands of Georgian Muslims have crossed the border from Russian territory to offer their services in the coming conflict. We could form them into a detachment to help us take back the provinces we lost to Russia in the War of 1877-78. Forming this Georgian Volunteer Detachment will cost us 50 MPPs. Would you like to authorize its formation? Notes. Several units of volunteers were formed in the Caucasus early in the war, and one seized Tabriz in Persia in January 1915. Saying yes to this may be wise, because it will increase Ottoman strength in the area. It could also be crucial if the Russians decide to launch a strong offensive there. Sure. Let's get those there, volunteers. U-35 sub. Derflinger battle cruiser. Mm, how about here? Right, let's deal with the Ottomans first. They're new. So this guy is, is looking well with uh, partisan activity. These guys need to get to this city to fight against the partisans. I need another unit to operate down to deal with that. This game. Okay, let's hope. Let's just zoom out a bit because that that wasn't going very well. Let's operate you. Okay, well, let, let's wait. No. Operate you. Yes. Okay, this this should be to that side of Manita. Yeah. I, th this is a bit uncomfortable, but I have to do it anyway. Uh, yeah, so there we go. The 13th Corps will move in here, so it can still use the movement to get up to Querna on the next turn. Still sending this HQ closer and closer, slowly but steadily. Uh, these guys moving down because I'm gonna set them to manual two and then attach all these units so the main area where I want to make a push is actually in Egypt because going into the Caucasus it's just terrible terrain it's gonna be very difficult to break through there uh, and getting into Mesopotamia with bad supply is also just not good so this is really the sole area where we can really strike hard possibly so let's do that let's get one unit out in here take that mm, you can move pretty far let's move a unit in El Arish. let's see what these guys are up to at the very least get these guys in here and 
Gonna send some more units over there, of course. That's operating is 22. Sure. Um, you can't be operated. Just move them like that. Sure. Well, that didn't go exactly according to plan, but I'll take it. I also need to deal with the partisans out here, so that, that's also something to worry about. First of all, though, let's set the unit from Adrianople over into Constantinople to deal with that. Then let's send these guys out into ports so they can be repaired. That Actually, that doesn't help because a five strength port. And I need ten strength ports to do this effectively. Let's already repair you and you're not going to get it repaired soon. So let's just move them there. I don't need a unit in there, so I can as well operate these guys all the way down. And immediately getting five cores down here to rush into Egypt hopefully will be enough to immediately knock the British off of their heels and secure a victory. The biggest issue here is that there's no rail line. Um, basically, it, it moves up to Yozgat or Gaziantep down here or well basically to Mosul so down here so there's just Erzurum is the most important place around here but besides that uh, let's actually entrench as well but besides that it would be hard to get there so I, I kind of want to use only these units around this area can reinforce them to nine that's fancy Thanks, but no thanks. Can't entrench. Well, I need to move these guys around and towards Azurum in order to help out there. If I want to defend in this area, I do also need these extra troops. Not sure why you can't entrench, but at least for the upcoming turn, we're looking okay. Okay, here. I don't really see the enemy go break through here and get through all those mountains as well. So I think they're looking pretty good so far. Uh, sure. So <clears throat> I think initial setup for these guys is not bad. Besides that, I do want to operate a second core over to this area to move them to the Mesopotamian front as well. And I want to send. Uh, you guys over to Angora in order to, yeah, to uh, transfer them down here start dealing with some of those partisans. I'm going to get one of these detachment out there as well. That leaves me a bit vulnerable here at this primary supply, but uh, we do have the capital as well, so I hope we'll be fine. Let's deal with this. One, two, two, one. Well, I know what I want to attack. Ooh. Hmm. I'd hoped with some luck to be able to finish them off. I know the chance that there's a unit in here is like 99%. So I've, I actually have a problem. If I want to move in here, I will trigger that unit or reveal that unit and I'll be in trouble. Rather, let's move in here. Okay, I've, I've located that unit now. Uh, just can't get those guys in there, huh? Okay, let's uh, let's shuffle you in. You into Belgrade. I also need to get more hexes across the river to make more profitable attacks against places like this. So this is starting to look a bit better. And it will also be problematic for the 
Serbians because I don't think they'll they get that much prestige. So well these guys give them 30. Yeah, I really need to take these two places if we want to knock them out, prevent them from getting more points. They're getting way too too many right now. Mm, at least Belgrade is gone, but it only gives us two MPP. Kinda sucks. Um, first of all, let's also reinforce you back to 10. This is a serious problem, but I think the Germans can deal with it. Destroy the cavalry. And can't entrench afterwards. You in there. Mm. You there, you down. Finish off that unit. <clears throat> Basically any offensive that they have I need to to plug it immediately. Enemy is not too likely to continue attacking here. Could cut them off. I'll see. I can't risk them moving in here and then keep attacking. They do have plenty of units out there. Mm. And these guys do need to be destroyed. They're actually in a pretty good spot digging in there. Wow. But I gotta do it if I wanna break through here. It is hurting me plenty though. Yeah, this attack won't materialize for some time. At the very least, also, I need to repair these two in order to start moving down on the next turn as well. Think... Operate you in here. They'll be able to hold out no matter the circumstances. And I think this nine strength unit as well. With these guys weakened, that that's looking pretty decent. And then out here. Enemy contact. Yeah. yeah, so <clears throat> I 
I'm definitely not hurrying with this attack and they still have this railroad so I'm just slowly doing this but uh, definitely not pushing it although if I can destroy another HQ okay I can't oh well Hmm. Don't want to keep HQs on the or don't want to keep cavalry up front. Let's move them in here and also entrench like this. So at least they have some decent defenses. I was gonna take care of the HQs, but I forgot again. I don't think they can see this. I'll just I'll just leave it for now. I'm, I'm going to think about it for a bit. Really not too sure what I'm going to have to do with those guys, so yeah, that that's going to be a bit tricky. Okay, let's deal with this. So, first of all, let's attach all of these as many as possible from down here. Found me another target, this uh, third GDR core. Man. To be honest, I probably won't be able to repair all of them anyway, so let's just move like this. Should be fine. You've already attacked. So go in there. Boom. Moving in here is pretty dangerous, but I would like to move in there if I can. That seems to be a difficult task. Not even a cavalry can get in there. It's just regular hills. What's wrong with you? This guy from Epinal can do that, but I still think it's very dangerous. I have to think about it. And they remain at 10. So I destroyed that. I really cannot move in here. Hmm. Getting rid of this detachment in itself is not very rewarding, let's say. Uh, 
Um, but finishing off this unit is, so... There we go. Now I'll just reinforce these guys then. I already got two core this turn. I think I can go for a third for sure. I should probably leave it at that. Hmm. As long as they're all covered, I'm fine. Hmm. So this British unit is probably quite powerful and I would be a bit reluctant to go after it immediately. You can go here though, all right. Let's get you down to five. Retreat. At least you in there. Need to get them out, surely. Okay, good. Ugh. That's really bad. Hmm. Not happy about that that attack. But nothing I can do. Let's uh, go and reinforce the cavalry units. And actually one thing that I'm gonna do is move you in here and you in here. What does that potentially do? Well, they could go in here and attack, but they're gonna lose that unit if they do so. And I wanna make sure that the as little units as possible attack here, so. And if I can, I'd like to damage these as much as possible too. Great. Mutually backfires. Because at 8 strength, they might just go and repair this unit and do nothing else. Let's see though. Definitely looking to repair as many as possible here too. Like these. Especially the badly damaged ones. Mm. Right, even though we didn't take any major cities, I think it was still a successful endeavor on the western front. Destroyed a total of four enemy units, I think. It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that should counteract the attacks a little bit. And hopefully... Keep their front line just one unit thick. There will come a point when they won't be able to, to break through anymore. I think we're okay. As for the Navy, it's raining, so there's little we can do. There's probably no unit in here. No. There is, yeah, storms everywhere. Okay. Well, let's send the submarines out. And those are just going to do a bit of scouting. Now we know that the enemy has some units on this line. Because they're actually coming indeed from Narvik. So the enemy indeed did have some units here. So I wonder what they're going to do. Well, it does mean I know this area is secure now. So I'm going to move these guys out for a bit. destroyers in close proximity if I can reinforce you I might just as well send them out and there we are so with those things done 
I think we're set and ready for the next turn already. So what did we achieve? Minor progress out here. Also minor progress on the Eastern Front. Pretty predictable in, in that regard. The, yeah, Austro-Hungarians still have too little MPP to really repair everything and also here, but we're doing a bit better with the weakening of the Serbians. But just a bit, we might be able to repair this a little bit less. And this send them out here for now. Getting them across the river might be a bit too tricky, but I am moving towards this area now, so there might be a potential encirclement on the next turn. We'll see though, it mostly depends on how aggressive the enemy will be. Mm. I also will just leave these and just see what they have to do, I think. Right, that's going to be it for this episode though, so I want to thank you for watching, do hope you enjoyed this, if you did please leave a like, comment or subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Um, why does it keep sending me there though? Okay. Yeah, this is all Spain. Just a bit curious to see these different places and indeed see whether you can walk somewhere so Shetland Islands and Faroe Islands are not doing anything Iceland is Denmark of course and is it is Reykjavik a secondary no it isn't Greenland in itself also is Denmark do have a port then up here we have this Canadian. It's funny because this is all water here. That's a, a big bay. Hmm. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll eventually see an invasion of uh, the US. You never know. Uh, but I don't think that the time frame will allow for it. We'll see. I, I don't even know if the game continues after two major powers have surrendered. But uh, maybe we'll figure it out. It will be interesting to see. Either way, thanks for watching. Take care. And see you next time. Bye-bye.